Did anybody throw up on Zoom? Well, good afternoon. It is 2.35, uh, Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. This is the regular uh, meeting of the Sam Point Sustainability Committee. And now call the order in the council chambers, City Hall, 1123 West Lake Street, Sam Point, Idaho. For the record, just from last meeting, uh, I am the committee chair. Be presiding over the meeting anyway. Also present are, and we'll go around just to introduce because we've got a couple new members here in the now. Deborah Dickerson, committee member. Samantha Bans Banscom, board. <laughs> uh, Katie Keeney. Totally just staff, staff liaison. <laughs> city staff. <laughs> yeah, city staff liaison. I'm Haley Keyes. I'm the deputy city clerk, just assisting for today. Diana Duke, uh, council member. Yeah, I'm Duke. Council liaison. Not council member. Committee member. Hey, really good with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, at this time, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from our. Uh, September 17th, 2024 meeting. So moved. Moved. Second. Second. Any uh, further discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, with no uh, new business, we'll go right into old business on the agenda and uh, move on to uh, the discussion and consideration of adoption of a definition of sustainability for the purpose of the committee. You meant no business. It's, it's quite all right. I got, I'm easily confused. Yeah. In the new business. We're going to go into new business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. My eyes get faster than my mind. Yeah, that's okay. My fingers are slower than my mind. So I skip words when I type. Um, I went out and looked at the sustainability definition. I don't remember I mentioned that last time. It's a pretty good definition. Simple. Like the UN. The UN. Oh, yeah. I'm plan. I agree. Uh -huh. Relax. Really quick. Sorry. I just I'm learning how to use this version of Zoom. Mary Wilkos is on nice oh okay so if you want to put her on roll oh good welcome mary hi mary hi mary mm -hmm. hi see her oh, so sweet. okay well that's one definition i mean the other simple definition basically is just uh balancing economy community and uh, the environment see that's what i think was missing is the environment it's environmental sustainability, societal sustainability, and economic, because it covers all three, which is more in breadth and in depth. Just probably more beneficial for the city's purposes. Yeah. So well, that's just my two cents. Yeah. I mean, maybe we can modify the United Nations. What I like about the United Nations one is for future generations, not just for today. So I like that view that is that being sustainable. Is working yeah, well. Yeah. Saving for the future for sure. But in all those, I found this. I don't know. I don't know how to send this to you guys. I found this. You just read it. Well, it's a diagram. Oh, got it. It's a Venn diagram where it intersects the environmental, um, economic, and social. And in the center is the sustainable development. And it, I don't know. I could pass it around if you yeah, could. I, that's if you've seen, seen that. that. I just I like that one. It's just a little more in depth, adding those three pillars. So put it verbally. Could be yeah. rather than. I mean, it's up to you guys. Right. I'm in charge. I mean, I I liked an AI overview. You want, you want to see it? Sure. 
I'm just gonna look it up on my phone. Well, it, and it has a, I can email that link. I don't that, have anybody's. That's name. basically a picture of native <laughs> sustainability uh, layout just that they've used for. Yeah, I just think it's a little more in depth than just thinking of tomorrow for today, doing today so that we save for tomorrow, which is the basic sustainability definition, but I think it's more involved in. Yeah. I just I, like it. I found um, an AI overview <laughs> of the UN definition it says meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainability is a social goal that involves people coexisting on earth over a long period of time. It usually has three dimensions, environmental, economic, and social. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it. You know, they you should you did a good job I'm here. Um, it's pretty it's awesome. It's environment. Three sentences. We are pretty sustainable. Power. Anyway. I like that. Yeah. I encompass mm -hmm. it all. With, mm -hmm. Too. Any other comments, thoughts on it? Mary? I have been going in and out. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I've I had a little technical difficulty. Um, you're talking about the definition, and I'm looking on my phone right now, and um, Looks like you're looking at definition from the comp plan. That was the basic issue was the comp plan definition. And the, and the comp plan de definition, yeah. So I heard, I, I had to check in and out. So I heard you talk about environmental being missing um, and I, right. from the definition. And then I, I had to go out and come back in. So um, I read you... it again. Yes, please. This is from the UN a summary. It's an AI overview summary of the UN definition that says meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainability is a social goal that involves people coexisting on earth over a long period of time. It usually has three dimensions, environmental, economic, and social. I support that. I, also, I don't get to put it on thing. Not really. No, I think that that would probably encompass everything. The only thing I wonder about is it involves people coexisting, but it does it doesn't say about other species? Well, I think that's encompassed in the environment. Yeah. Uh huh. We could. I would support the inclusion of other species as right. well. We could add that. Where would you would you put that, Christine? Since you've got that in front of you, maybe sustainability is a social goal that involves people coexisting on earth with other species over a long period of time. Well, see, to me, they're not limited. Then what about plants? It's a species. Yeah, yeah, that's, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you, you, you that's, just, okay. I think the environment plants probably covers, species. covers everything on that. I mean, yeah, if we take plants to speak, I don't know. Anyway, I, or you can kind of keep adding to yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. So that, that's why I like, and it does say on Earth, which right. encompasses yeah. everything. Oh, it's just yeah, sure. include every living thing on every living thing on Earth. Just keep in mind, things are changing so fast in five years we'll have to. I was just thinking that or Mars. I'm like, oh my God, it's not gonna be enough for Earth anyway, but we're not going there. <laughs> it's the same wavelength. How about we use something like balanced ecosystem? Would that encompass everything? Or in, include an, an ecosystem, not just environment. To me, I environment think, includes ecosystem. Covers everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, 
that's definition? Is that what we should at the top of our uh, poll, I guess, or our well, our definition of sustainability. Our definition yeah. of sustainability. Yeah. Which then I can bring to the council to have it arranged on the come. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, okay. I think they have, you guys have to vote on it. Yeah. 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 I was just, yeah. Getting, okay. just getting to that Sorry. next step. I was just seeing if there was any other. Oh, I have one more thing that I just found that sounds really good. Ensuring the preservation of biodiversity and the health of natural habitats. I'll read that again. Throwing things out. No, I know. <laughs> um, ensuring the preservation of biodiversity and the health of natural habitats. Can you read? Can you read the entire statement definition with that clause in it? Um, okay. Where would you put that? Well, so sustainability in relation to humans and other species refers to the practice of living in a way that allows both humans and other species to thrive long term by maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Where humans recognize their interdependence with other life forms and it and. It, and actively minimize their negative impacts on the environment, ensuring the preservation of biodiversity and the health of natural habitats. It's kind of long. But... That's a diff that's a completely different different definition. I mean, it encompasses yeah. similar. Right. I was just picking a portion of it that I thought would mesh with. Yeah, I think we need to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, I agree. So I guess we're, we're, we seem to be debating about language is with, is, is environment big enough? Or do we need to expand upon that? Keep, keep in mind that we're focusing on the city. Right. So I, I think environment really covers from my standpoint. And this as it explains environmental, it says a viable natural environment. Yes. Natural okay. habitats, though, too, because I think we've been, I think, I think a more, you know, environment just kind of, you're thinking, oh, okay, the mountains around us, maybe, but I think um, natural habitats within the city makes me think more within the city, and it, I feel like I'm doing a good job here on protecting natural habitats within the community. You're doing an excellent job for here. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's interesting because if you look at what sustainable development is, is defined in the comp plan, it encompasses a lot of that. It doesn't specifically say biodiversity. Because it, it has sandpoints, natural beauty, open space, and scenic views should be protected through thoughtful development patterns. And this is a broad base the def definition. Not the definition, really. but I'm just anyway. Right. Yeah. It's just in the definition section because we had some discussion on the council. What does it mean? And so we tried to throw a definition in, but I couldn't come up with a better one in that short period of time. So we just put that saving today for future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's too, I didn't like it. It was too scant. Yeah. I do like what you read. With the planning commission, we had the same badges back. You did. Yeah. I wonder if we can elaborate in the committee's main focus, vision, goals, and objectives. You know, in there. keep the uh, definition of sustainable a simple and broad and then flesh it out in the other pieces. Well, and I think that's, when you start to look at all the other different aspects of the city, some of the, you know, the environment part, the infrastructure, so we can just keep that. going on and on. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say, just keep it very general because it's all gonna, okay, we get into this section. Now we may elaborate a little bit more on the definition to include the environment side. I'm just using that as, as one of them, you know, one of the natural resources or whichever one. So can you read that definition again? Um, meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainability is a social goal that involves people coexisting on earth over a long period of time, 
It usually has three dimensions, environmental, economic, and social. I, I just sent it to Samantha. Um, and I, I don't know how to send it to you guys. I don't think we have. So that's something that can be discussed at the round table. Yeah, I, I noted that already. If you if if you guys want to look at it, if you send that to me, I can screen share it. That is the only reason I'm on the Zoom call, so that if there's something that wants to be shared, I can oh. do that with you guys for you. I like that definition, but I would just the portion that I like. It says, well, it says something about show up. The, I, it would be nice to have it. Yeah. Um, but I just think interconnectedness with other, with with the environment or with the ecosystem should be in there too. And we could just shorten okay. it. You could say like, you could just add three pillars words. being environmental, social, and economic. Because if you look at that, that she highlighted for sustainability. Yeah, it's hard to work seeing this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, without your glasses. Yeah, I didn't wear my contacts, so I don't think we have that feature. So if you're saying it's on here somewhere? Should I'm sharing it right now. Yeah, I think see. Yeah, if we change that last sentence slightly, it has three dimensions, even if you just take usually out. It is this definition. It encompasses those three. So you want to just learn either three uh, dimensions, pillars. Uh, yeah. Dimensions, pillars. Either. Dimensions. Yeah, so it's there. <laughs> so then add. No, I think. What that's about a adding people coexisting on Earth with other living things? Something like that. Existing. I mean, I, I just feel like this. This, as written, it's missing other creatures on the planet. Put that right after coexisting on Earth. Instead of a new sentence, can't you just put yeah. that? At the end of coexisting on earth with in the middle instead of adding a sentence at the end there two lines couldn't you add it right to the the um second sentence it. yeah so, instead of a a new sentence where would you like it so uh, yeah I have heard. people coexisting on earth with other living things other live with other uh, with other species. Or did you want that biodiversity within biodiversity? And other species. Okay. Sounds like right. it two cents. Because just one thing I was I was trying to look through when you sent all the highlighted sustainable words get that trying to think of putting that definition in there when you see sustainable to make sure that it fits in and I think that would cover more because it covers the economic the environment <clears throat> that a city is involved in is like with other living beings uh, to Buddhist because beings would not include plants. Uh, I, to me, we're, we're nitpicking. I'm, I'm happy with that. With but species, if you want to add something. I, species covers a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to have to be animals. just animals. Yeah. Right. Because we do, we are going to talk about mission, vision. And, you know, this isn't meant to, it's meant to be big enough to contain everything else that we do. That's how I look at it. 
can we can we move forward with something that is um in a like we're contemplating it do we have to finalize today um can we can we think about it and then move forward in our discussion yeah that's entirely up to yeah. you guys if you want to um kind of think about it and we can bring this up again as old business at the next meeting if you want that's we, that's definitely something you guys can do if you're not ready to like make a firm decision on it today it is kind of the leading part of everything we do from this point. absolutely mm -hmm. Uh, it is, all. but that would give us the opportunity to kind of think about it and wordsmith on our own and then maybe come to the next meeting if with some changes, because I could see this taking up. I've been in exercises where you wordsmith for hours <laughs> or days. But we can always, I'm mean, just throwing out there, it can always be changed again yeah. and be added yeah. to, and, and if it doesn't fit, that's the flexibility of the comp yeah and i mean this was something that we guys you guys all discussed at the last meeting that this was supposed to be decided on today so but it's up and, to you guys and, and having gone through it with the comp plan and all that part of it the biggest issue we had was coming down to uh, one sentence definition every time you put two sentences that it's complicated three sentences more complicated pretty soon yeah. Now you're leaving things out because you've got it so broad. So that was that was one of the biggest uh, issues. And it's just like when we did the introduction there to the division, just use sustainability, mm -hmm. period. Didn't go in any definition or anything like that. Because everybody has somewhat of a, a definition and it's a little bit different. So the more you go, the more complicated it gets. That to me, is why we needed a better definition in the top. Yeah, I th I think what's what's troubling me right now about the words that I added is you could say with other species. Well, as written, that could be with five other species, you know, or it doesn't really say anything about the multitude of species and biodiversity and, and ecological processes and things like that. And yet it, sustainability also has those economic and social components to it. So, but I'm at a loss for how to re remedy that right now. So is the word environmental not broad enough? I, I'm not struggling over the last sentence. It's the second sentence for me. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I missed that. I said I don't have a problem with the, the last sentence. It's the second sentence that or and I don't have a problem with the first sentence. It's the second sentence. <laughs> I, I understand that. For me, environmental encompasses almost all of what we're talking about. So that's why I'm asking is environmental not including all species and all environments and biodiversity. So that's why I'm pointing to that word that it doesn't, it's insufficient for the depth of what we want in the statement. So can you take out that second sentence and put in that over a long period of time somehow, and then say it has three dimensions or in its three dimensions? And then you won't have to deal with the other species thing. Just wondering. Back to the way it was written Sorry, who's ringing? Me, and I can't <laughs> seem to make it stop. Does people coexisting on Earth is that broad enough to include other species? 
No, no, because it sounds like people coexisting with people. Only. Right. That's how I read it the first time. That's how I see read it too. Well, I agree. We could come back next week and having a month. Month. Uh, yes, yeah, it's a month. It's okay. Okay, because you guys, I, it's yeah, it's up to you guys. You just want to, but like Wayne said, it's a major part of being able to yep. then decide how to move forward with projects and things like that. So. I like taking that the second sentence. I over, it, could you add to meet their own needs over a long period of time? And then say it has three dimensions. Taken out that second sentence. You need over a long period of time. Future generation. But future that's generation. Future generation. Future generation. Yeah. Yeah. See that future. I see that in future generation. Maybe I'm being too simplistic. Yeah, because then I then I feel like it's just all about humans, though. That's just that was my. And that's what we all discussed in the beginning, right? That it, it's all just about humans. But and it not a, the it, three pillars are environment. Environment. Yeah. Yeah. And social. I guess, see, to me, environment doesn't. Yeah, that's what I hear. Environment doesn't settle it. So maybe the word is, maybe environment isn't the word. Because if we start, my concern is if we don't find a word that encompasses all of the environment, whatever that is, then we're going to have a blown up definition. Excuse me. You could say ecological, but it's it's also about maybe the built environment too. Well, there's ecological that's really close to economic um, observation. I think a lot of it's going to get flushed out as we go along. One definition for environmental is relating to the natural world and the impact of human activity on its condition. So is environmental. Mm -hmm. It kind of covers that. Well, um, is it possible that if there's key words here that we want expanded, that, yeah, a relatively short definition that encompasses what we want, and then we to find those somewhere else. Yep. Yeah. And that's why I was kind of going, because yeah. I think as we get into it, you're going to find that here again, we're talking about transportation maybe, and that a whole different direction to some of what you put into the original definition. It'll add to it. Yeah, you guys can have like your definition or like what the sustainability committee is. And then inside of that, you can have your agreed upon definitions of environmental, economic, social, species, coexisting, all of that. You can have your own definitions of what those mean for sustainability. You know, because just like when Pam looked up environmental, there's a list of what that can be. There's a list of coexisting definitions. There's, you know, and so, you can definitely hone in on those. Just like if you were to look up anything in the city's code, it, you know, it, at the beginning of each title, it has what you're going to find as far as definitions go or different words in those. And how that's used. And how it's used and how it's supposed to be yeah. interpreted. So for that yeah. second sentence, could you just say it has three dimensions, environmental, economic, and social, take out that whole coexisting on Earth a long yeah. period of time, and then add that in your mission or goal? That's, yeah, that's entirely up to you. Um, it, it's definitely doable. It, it, it is whatever you guys want it to be. So. So it could be then two sentences. It could it could be five bullet points. 
It, it, but working with this one. No, I just mean, yeah, it, it could be whatever you want. It could be two sentences. It could be one. And then have some definitions. It's. How about. <clears throat> so I just found this, the, the practice of living in a way that allows both humans and other species to thrive long term by maintaining a balanced ecosystem. That kind of says a lot of what we already have, but it includes the other species and ecosystem. Something like that would fall within the environmental side of this. That's a separate kind of yeah, it could even definition be... for <laughs> like the environment. Yeah, and right now we're you guys are just working on um like the definition and the purpose of the committee. Mm -hmm. We're not working on defining all of the words. Yeah in the purpose of the committee. Mm -hmm. To me, that would that would come next. Mm -hmm. Because those definitions are going to dictate how the whole purpose statement is received. I think a lot of it will flush out as we go along because here again, if we bring the public into it a little bit, they may have a total different direction Really, what they're looking at, yeah. how they want to define it. Yeah, you know, and that's totally up to you guys. Well, how about if we go with this one definition that we've got, and okay. then we need to make changes as we go along? We can. We start to flesh out some of the other areas. I mean, looking at our duties and everything else and responsibilities. To be fleshing out a lot of things. Yep. Yeah. So, with or without the second sentence? I take the second sentence out and go right back to where we were at the beginning, just keeping it real simple. Mm -hmm. Are we good with the word environmental? How about starting with sustainability has three dimensions environmental? I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's the second sentence still short, but it's more explicit than just meeting the needs of today or tomorrow. What do you think of that, Mary? I can live with that for now. I think our biggest task is going to be, we'll figure out what tomorrow is. <laughs> <laughs> what tomorrow will be. <laughs> Don't muddy the water. Okay, if, if there's no more discussion on that, we'll go ahead and vote on it. Just to, and I guess we'll have a roll call vote or we'll just uh, vote. I make a motion. I'm going to in a minute. Oh, sorry. I, if we, sorry. Yeah. I was asking if we need to have a roll call vote or uh, just. I think it's a, it's a motion. Um, be, to me, okay. it would be a motion and then reading this and a motion to approve. I make a motion uh, mm -hmm. that the committee accepts the definition as we have uh, modified it today to be meeting the needs of the present without comprising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainability has three dimensions, environmental, economic, and social. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the motion's passed. That's a win. Yeah. <laughs> it is a win. I'm serious. Well, it's a win. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, the next on the discussion will be. Uh, focus on vision, goals, and on objectives. And I think that that's uh, one of the ones that we probably need to take off of what our mandates are a little bit and kind of figure out which step we're going to go in initially or which steps we'll take initially to look at. Who had that up on there that had that 2.7.4? Is that you <laughs> putting that up there? Yeah, 
I think so. I thought that's what said you had. This. It's the committee's duties for calling. And then pull them up there for you too. Duties. December, January, and February meetings are to sustain sustainability of snow and so on. I think we're. I think, I think you can read that. Minute, that's pretty well. Can you read that, or do you want me to zoom it in more, you guys? I, I have it up here on page. Oh, okay. you guys gave us and we need. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do a good job. I mean. <laughs> I'm getting everything done for you. We try. You just have to make the decisions. <laughs> no, one of the things reading the uh, comp plan introduction, the way that vision is. Some of the discussion we had with the planning uh, commission that the city basically in every single decision that they have could have a list as part of the decision decision making process is it sustainable and they go to make a, a decision on an ordinance a resolution or any kind of decision and i know that's one of the things we did up there at thorn bay is we put that in it so that sustainability was always being talked about Every single meeting, it was there. Not necessarily that anything accomplished. But at least you started the thought process. To look at it. So, I mean, do we want to just drop that off and tackle some of the city operations that uh, you know sustainability should be encouraged in more or yeah. looked at more? So is that like your main focus for your vision? Yeah, that's well, where I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a little confused then if we're going to dive into the comp plan and start deciding. And I'm just throwing things out to get that. Okay. You know, but that could that. be a focus. I mean, it's because you're trying to come up with focuses. Well, when I went through the comp plan, by the way, who did all that work for Going through the comp plan, did did you have a tool to help you, or did you manually do that? Uh, I I searched it and then I went in and I did a little. Oh, manual. okay, good. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. It made yeah. a difference in me showing up here today and having like some idea where to start. Yeah, yeah. Um, going in with search. Well, I know that, but still, it helps. Like that, it was. I wasn't trying to. Read the whole comp anyway, it helped me a lot. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. Um yeah, that uh, so as I was thinking, the main focus, I mean, there's certain things that's sustainable as part of, but I don't know that it would fall under this committee. Like, is the budget sustainable city? I don't know that that would. And I'm just giving examples. I don't know that that's our job, right? So there's a lot of places where sustainability or it needs to be sustainable is used. But I don't know that that falls for where we're at. And that became apparent to me as I was going through all places that showed up in the comp plan. And so that's why a focus, I think, might help us find what the definition, figure out, okay, what falls Where's the kind of the line in the line is right? <laughs> what kind of where is there a line? Because there's a lot and we can't, we, we can't do it all. Oh, oh no, yeah, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> one, one positive one. So yeah. What did you say again, Wayne? That was what you did at Thorn. Was, was, was it Thorn you were talking Going back to the city? We just uh, actually had it on every single item that the city council reviewed 
and staff. Every time they were reviewing something, project or, or anything like that, sustainability was a box that you had to check off. Not necessarily that you could achieve it, but at least it was okay. Let's think about it a little bit. Uh, good example was our whole new water system that we put up there. Was it was it going to be sustainable in the future? Who was going to run it? How are you going to keep it going? How how many years into the future is it going to serve the next fifty years like the first one did, and so on? So it, that was just one of the items that checkbox, just like you do the old fashioned way when you used to send around memos to everybody and they had to check off and put their comments on it. That's but I like were, that I. I like that idea because it allows people to come at sustainability from wherever they're at in a open discussion format um, for issues and facilitates everybody's um, learning process, I guess. And yeah, I, I think that's an interesting idea. So could you write that as a focus? Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to. So would that be? Yeah, that would. Be are we making? Are we saying we're going to we're going to do that, or we're going to make a recommendation to the city council that our focus is going to be that everything that we all work on here has sustainability. And I'm trying to. Everything we do goes to the city council. I have you approval. Okay. But that could be a real focus of right off the bat of just saying, okay, just to get things started, not necessarily that it's going to stay that way or anything like that, but coming up with a policy and a procedure to present to the city council and for adoption to the city as a steps and guidelines to address sustainability, <clears throat> excuse me, and all the actions that they do. A consideration. Yeah. Okay, so we're not really talking about one of these, or I'm, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm an agenda kind of person, and so I'm trying to tie in what you're saying, Wayne, because to me it sounds like we're making a recommendation to the city council. You look well, at E. Do, do, does the city council do anything like that now? Like whenever they come up with any, any, okay. Unless it's hard, they come that's why she was coming up with those what does e so advocate for sustainable practices and, and educate residents businesses and other stakeholders about the importance of sustainability in ways that they contribute and that would be a good stepping stone mm -hmm. to get lead into that to form more of the public and more that kind of goes back right back to the introduction of the comp plan and that's the very first thing is it's whole vision of the city of Sandpoint was a focus on being an inclusive, forward thinking, connected, sustainable, healthy, livable, first community. So, I mean, that's just, that's one of the key components of the whole entire conference. It pops up in a lot of other places where they wanted to put more emphasis on things, but that was put in there to be really looking at everything you do, you need to be focusing on sustainability. I'm just Ellen. wondering if it relates to D, expand on D, collect and analyze data related to energy use, waste generation, transportation patterns, and other relevant metrics to assess the city, city sustainability performance and identify areas for improvement. If that could be expanded to be like on the, we're working also on the front end, we're not only assessing after the fact you're also promoting or encouraging or um the city's um energy used waste generation and we could insert uh, the natural environment in there as well that's also can I can I jump in for a sec? What I'm looking at on my screen, D has to do with quorum, and what you're talking about is something completely different. Oh, we're on the um, duties. Two point. Maybe we can can we go to okay, two. Okay, but seven. I don't see that on the screen. Yeah. 
It's not on there. Anymore. Yeah, it's not on the screen. We're getting there. There it is. There. Okay. It is. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Is DE and F look like focus points goals spelled out as far as your duties? Yeah. And they're all in a lab. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, this to me seems like something. Okay, I have, I have a question in reference to the agenda, which is when I read four, there seemed to be a time component to that for the forward project grant opportunity. There's no time component to that. And, and okay. that I will make clear, clear is there is not an opportunity for a grant. A grant has already been okay, that was given. Okay, never mind then. I'll let that go. Okay, so we'll stay with this. All right. Thank you. Well, and, and the agenda was put together as, as much of your specifics as well as the discussion. No, it's fine. It's, I got my I got my question answered. It wasn't clear. Yeah, I, and I said yeah. that that was un okay. Not a problem. Yeah. Good question. Um. Um. Well. And, and this is something we don't need to decide on it right at this yeah, point. Yeah, but well, trying to find something little simple steps that we could take. And I think that something like this might actually open a lot of doors because, for example, the city is just about ready. Well, remember, I believe it is to have a presentation on their upgrades to the sewage treatment plant. This, this is maybe a good opportunity of something that get this in the works so that they can be even thinking about that. You know, I mean, it's... Evaluate infrastructure and development projects mm -hmm. for their potential environmental impact. And getting that in front of everybody right now may all of a sudden, as these projects discussed and worked on over the winter months, somebody in parks may think of something, holy cow, we should be thinking of that. Sudden something pops up. Somebody in you know, didn't in finance could say, hey, wait a minute, you know, we need to be really thinking about that as we go through the operation. I wonder if something like the focus, I was thinking of it as an overarching statement about our work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going yeah, forward, but yeah. maybe our focus is we review it every three months. We say our focus for the next three months is going to be this, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and then we kind of see well how we do on that, and decide to either carry that forward or um, we just take. I mean, I'm not quite sure how focus, vision, goals, and objectives. I'd like those to be sort of discrete things. Um, and, I, and I just threw well, usually they build. build. Usually, it, so um, I'm not sure about focus. I'm not familiar with that term per se. But vision, uh, goals, and objectives usually they build. So you have you create a vision, and then you build goals that'll help you achieve that. And then usually within goals, or I would say strategies, then you build objectives. Right. So it's kind of like a stair step kind of thing. Um, that gets you to the ultimate bit, or at least closer, like you know you're on your way. So that's how I view those three things. I'm not sure about focus. That's where maybe there's some confusion yeah. for me, is I'm, on, I'm unclear about what how a focus relates to those other three things. Well, and I think focus, I think you're right in the lines. We could focus on certain things. We can't just like do everything at one time. And this list right here is basically our goals and objectives. Here. That's what I that's why I kind of put the goals and objectives to go over these to make sure we're picking something off of this here and not going off on some other tangent at this time. Because I think our, our vision and our focus really is to help the city come up with ways to be sustainable. Mm. Uh -huh. I mean it's the same as the vision on the uh, yeah, I would tweak that to incorporate sustainability. So see then, so if I say a little bit different that 
we support the city in incorporating sustainability into every decision, into every something that they choose. That's what I hear you saying. It's something like that, right? Um, which again, kind of sounds like yeah. Well, it's kind of all, yeah. yeah, all those three. All D, them, yeah. D, well, it is. It's all of those. We're not trying to pick one yeah, more yeah. than the other. I mean, they, you know, these are the duties of the whole committee. Which, when I look at it, then we should all be working full time. <laughs> <laughs> More than full time. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think Wayne's Wayne's um recommendation it covers almost all of the duties. So something like we support we would support the city in making sustainably focused choices. For all initiatives, I don't know, right? I'm just going out my reach. That be our focus, something like that. I think not initiatives necessarily, just as operations. Okay. Project operations. I mean, the day from day to day operations. I mean, that's are you really in all its operations and projects? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's it. You have to expand it. Well, are we trying to, okay, so maybe I'm not understanding what we're doing because, and okay, well, that's already incorporated. So is our focus just our duties and that's it? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows this is a brand new committee. Yeah. That's, that's so exciting. <laughs> no, it's not new. It's important. Yeah. yeah, the chair of the planning commission was on the sustainability committee for do you know when that was? How long? Um, John said back before the comp plan was kind of in between what the comp plan got going in the process. So four years ago, maybe five years ago. Around, I remember going to a meeting at some point. Yeah, so, around yeah, John. He he so a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but he said he was on the committee. Or he, he was on that before he got on the planning and zoning. So Wayne, your your recommendation, the what I heard is to uh, a recommendation for the city to be discussing sustainability as part of all of its decision making, whatever comes before it, right? Is that, that is correct? Okay, correct. which I think is more palatable than adding words like initiatives and things like that. Right now, it's a baby step to get people talking. Um, and that's something that they can be doing simul the decision makers are elected and appointed leaders can be doing uh, simultaneous with what we're doing. Do you want to repeat your succinct sentence? <laughs> <laughs> well, w Wayne, why don't you re what would you put forward as a recommendation to the city? How would you phrase it based on your experience with your the other jurisdiction? I, I I just just my standpoint is kind of taking like to say the really the baby steps and just saying our committee is going to continue to delve into everything we can in real specifics, but to get started to actually help us gain more information and input from council and the staff and everybody else is to have a process in place that every all operations and I'll just say operations right now but for decision making uh, have a step in there that they look at sustainability is this too brief um, support the city in incorporating sustainability into operational decisions for too general. Well, operations to me is that that's not broad enough. Planning and operations. Yeah, that's that, that gets broader. To planning operational decisions or into planning and operations. Yeah, incorporating sustainability as a consideration. 
Mm -hmm. That's good. Or a consideration in decision making or something like that. But yeah. I think the benefit of that is it starts to get everybody talking about sustainability, if it's approved, if, if there's buy-in, in addition to just our little group, including the community at large. And I think if we can get the city to buy in on it, community will buy in on it. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, that's always some, I'm not. What, what about recommendations for improvements on planning that has already had or projects that have already been completed? Well, they're completed. I don't know. But I mean, how do you? How do you... Or even projects that are in process, you know, right. like, like right. the Traverse Park. You can't go back and you can't. I don't I don't feel comfortable asking the city, hey, go back and revisit all this. You no. can't. No, I don't think so. I don't agree with that either. Uh, Calculations even, even, is you, gonna go ahead. Yeah, even like the Traverse Park thing aside, something that has already gone to council, been approved, is a work in progress. You you can't just come up with things and then have try to have the city revise it. Because it's we can yeah, yeah you can this is for future yeah. planning yeah absolutely but current or past is not I mean you can't do that because I mean like it's for anything I mean you can anything. only that that goes hand in hand with like so the city has a code for if you pull a building permit you have to then undergo a review to see if frontage improvements are going to be required on your property if your permit is over X amount of dollars. And if it is over X amount of dollars, then you go through a review process and the city determines whether or not you also then have to do frontage improvements, which means planting trees, repairing or installing a sidewalk, mm -hmm. things of that nature. But we can't go around to everybody and say, oh, you don't have a sidewalk, you have to install one. Like that's not, you know what I mean? Because if if you own a house without a sidewalk, even though city code says you have to have one, you're not going to like it if the city comes in and says that you have to install one on your dime without triggering anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that's that would be the same idea. So it has to be for future use. It can't be for past or. I just wonder, I mean, I have a vision of something that um, an Idaho Conservation League guy said one time in a talk where he said, there is a woman in City Hall, I believe it was in McCall, who is just killing it. She thinks about um, sustainability and environmental issues in everything she does. And I sort of had got a mental image of everybody has a poster in their office that says, think about the earth or, you know, something like that. So it, whatever they're doing, that's kind of background of their thinking. And if we can encourage that and get people who wouldn't have that front and center in their planning and in their management of operations, into having that front and center, wow, that, that's pretty amazing. Another example to get the city starting at this small scale, one of the worst things for water quality, throwing slippings in the water, throwing brush in the water, throwing things like that in there to decompose and creates nitrogen. City behind a sewage treatment plant cut all the brush and threw it over the bank. What? So we need to get down to the the roots of the operations to get people thinking yeah. about. Yeah. No, yeah. Literally. The operations is important. 
See, that's what I'm thinking. Any projects that have been completed that are now in operations, then it would become part of that. So we would, because we can't encompass everything, but we can try and encompass, if we do 80%, it, that would be great, you know? I'm for 20. <laughs> so I mean, but you know what I mean? That there's a consideration for the majority of what the city does. We want our focus to be on future projects and kind of going over like what, what the city has already determined they were going to do, not kind of rec making any recommendations for anything that's already done. That's what I'm correct. Yeah, that's what we're going forward. Okay. Yeah. What about this for a focus? Support the city in incorporating sustainability into consideration of, of planning and operation. I like that. Yeah. That would be amazing if we got both of these done today. <laughs> <laughs> then how would you do that? Would, would you make a, a checklist for the council to think of or for the staff to think of every time they do something? I mean, that's... Yes. Okay, because you would have to have some guidelines. Right. Or yeah. I might think, oh, yeah, that's sustainable. You might think, oh, that's really... No, I, I think that just having a checklist to have them think about it right mm -hmm. now, start because some of those staff members are going to come back and maybe have some good input. Yeah. And that's what we're after, because that's how we can make a really good recommendation to the city council, is getting that, what? Yes, 20 oh, minutes. Oh. I mean, Until three o'clock. <laughs> I won't be You're here. welcome to continue talking. I just wanted to remind okay. everybody. I need to go. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought it was. It, it, the the meeting is scheduled for an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh, we have time. Yeah, you have 20 minutes. To, Twelve thirty to two. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Can you see what Okay. Nope. Yeah. I was just. Okay. I, I like to give you a little yeah. bit of a buffer yeah. rather than like. Oh, by the way, we have five minutes. We're done. I, no, that's what I'm saying. Can see the focus. A little bit of discussion on the other item. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. So can you say that again? Yeah. Support the city in incorporating sustainability into consideration of planning and operation. Okay. Good. And then there's more work to do on that. Yeah, and we can yeah, definitely, it, but that, you know, kind of like, yeah. have it be that and make this old business that gets picked back up mm -hmm. at the next meeting. Everybody can kind of brainstorm yep. and gather more ideas for next month. Um, you know, so or it can be so next, again, uh, however you so want. Next to. month, we could focus on maybe developing a short checklist. There you go. Yeah. To accompany that. Because I think just get, getting them to start to think about that. I mean, most of them, not that they don't. I mean, there are some people in there, I can tell you right now, that do very well at really trying to think what it's going to be like 20 years down the road, 30 years down the road. But sometimes they lose sight of that a little bit. And I think that needs to be more in front of everybody. It'll make, I think it'll make the city's life a lot easier down the road. Just... For future generations. I like yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, then should we move on to the next pieces? Because I got a couple things on the round table. Well, is that? We need a motion, is, right? Yeah, I was going to say, is that a votable item? Or uh, we just say that that's what it is? Let's, I don't know. let's bring that back next time to vote on it, just to make sure that's the direction we want to go. OK. And then we can talk about details to that part. OK, so we captured the language yeah. for that. Could um, I make a, a suggestion that people think about? What they there was some ideas in here. Like, what is your idea? What do you want to see? It's not that I'm just going. Um, okay. Correct. What are your goals? Like, correct what do you, me if I'm wrong. A lot of this will be noted in the minutes also, and everybody will get copy of the minutes of yeah. like what will be what should be discussed at the next right. Right. meeting. Okay. I just like this month you had thinking about a definition. Thinking about what your ideas are, what would your goal be? You know, of everybody, what would your goal be for the city? Um, you, you know, because it says, I mean, sure, I was just... something about, yeah, your goal. What is your goal? What is your goal? What is your goal for the for the committee? I guess to accomplish. Just wondering if that's. If everybody could, because you've got in here goals and objectives, you might have a different goal than Christine. 
and, and all of the ideas would be awesome. I don't know. I'm just, I'm curious, like, um, it, would your goal be, so I'm just working on recycling right now, would your goal be to have the city recycle? I mean, not that that's, but what would your goal be as a sustainability committee member for you to accomplish throughout? I'd be curious to hear what everybody's goal would be if you think that's important as it's on here. That's my idea. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I go ahead. Are we going to discuss this? Are we going to do that now? No, it's not on the agenda. It, it okay. is on the well, agenda. Well, it, it, it I mean, yeah. yeah, it is on the agenda. I'm just so. wondering if you guys yeah. wanted to think about what you had and bring that back shares. I'm curious to know what your goals are. But it doesn't have to be. I'm just. So that's for the next meeting? I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. That's just an idea. That's something I would like to hear from you guys. Yeah. But if that's, that's part of something that should be discussed, like at the round table, though, I because it's our agenda item. Oh. Yeah. Okay, then the next. We need a motion to put the focus. Do we need a motion? Yeah, to no. Okay. Okay. So, so we're not, it'll be we're on not your going to be yet. the yeah. next. So it'll be on the your next. One could be it could be part of the old business to possibly bring forward a motion if everything's decided on. If not, we can table it for the next month. Then again, make it old business. So glad you guys are here. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the next uh, item on the agenda is the. Uh, Forward standpoint forward project and grant opportunity. And I think that's kind of on hold right at this moment. It is not a grant opportunity. So. It is a grant that has already been awarded to the model forestry C project. And it that's what I, I sent this new one out. It gives you more of an idea of what um, the process is and I know Diana has already joined as a partner in it. There are opportunities for individuals. And I just shared this briefly last, um, last month. This is more in depth if you wanted to be part of it. This explains what the options are and what your commitment would be. And also, we were just thinking it would be good to bounce off um, this committee with what we're doing on occasion back and forth. Yeah, which is good. I mean, yeah. It's great to be updated. So that's that was it. It was a grant already delivered right. to this group. Okay. That was a question I wanted yeah, to make. That on. Was just, it yeah. sounds like time has passed, but. Yeah, and it's not a city project. It is a community project <laughs> focused through these folks, through NOAA and the Climate Smart Cities Initiative. So, but so anything, is, is there an organized schedule? How was a grant approved? It was this? not a city. No, it's it not was city. not a city project. It's not no, city. but who's who's facilitating this? The model forestry policy project, MFPP. You can look them up. They're an organization, right. a nonprofit no, organization. I get, I get that. I get that. But it's in what you have put on. Uh, when I'm reading, it says volunteers for the advisory group. So is there a schedule around this advisory group? Is that what they're looking for? Yes, we're looking for volunteers. And it shows on the back what the um, members will meet, what they have to do, what's next. And, and then Gwen Griffith is the page. She is the one you're supposed to contact. Yes, you mentioned that the yeah, she's at the bottom. She's at the, bottom. She's at the very bottom, very very bottom. But there's no this. There's an email there. There was just oh, some. So it says time commitment. Contribute up to eight to ten total hours. Yes. yes. Okay. This might not be the best. This was this was not a city project. Oh, yeah. City did not bid on anything. They did. I understand. Okay. Trying to ask how 
grant money was given to the sustainability committee. It wasn't. That's what you said. No, that's what I not to this committee. Nothing, not to this committee. This group, the Model Forest Policy Program, got a grant to go ahead and make a plan for our community to be resilient. So that a grant yeah. had been given to the committee the sustainability. No, not our I committee. Would, like, yeah, right. No, sorry for the confusion. Nope, it was not through the city at all or this committee. We were just hoping since this is a sustainability committee and we are working on a resilient right. plan. Yeah. Exactly. No, it, it's not your focus. This was just no, the no, I got it. I got it. That I, I had shared it. last time that came up again in question. And Diana has already contacted to become part of it. So she's already a liaison for both. It's just they they tie in. One is mm -hmm. resilience, one is sustainability. Mm -hmm. And it's for the community. So we're all, and any staff member who wants to be part of this, I've tried to get the engineers. I mean, they're interested, but they're very busy. Staff is overworked in the city. I understand that. But there's been interest amongst staff members to be part. So I'm just sharing if anybody here wants to be. And then whatever, Diana, would be perfect because she will be part of it. I am only part of it as a liaison with the city and this group, but they're not the same. Not this group. This. Yeah. This group. <laughs> so okay. that's all. It was, just a, it was just to share. It was just to share. Got a couple minutes left then. Close on time. You guys decided that you don't want to move forward with the sustainability or not the sustainability, the standpoint forward then? It's not as a, as a committee yet, no. Okay. One thing we need to do is figure out our next meetings because the next one is on Thanksgiving Day. No, 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 no. It's a Tuesday before. We meet on Tuesday. We meet on Tuesday. So our next meeting is the meeting before means everybody can bring a sample of Thanksgiving to be virtual in Arizona. And I have a question. Is this a good time? A question, Mr. Chair? Well, yeah. Then is I'll that what the round my, table is? Uh, we need to do the, whenever you're ready to do your reading for the next trip to get into the round table. Okay. I'll go, I'll start that right now then. The final item on the agenda is the opportunity for general announcements or comments from the committee members or staff during a roundtable discussion. I did not understand. Go ahead. Um, my question is, did everybody come up with a, an email address? I know Christine did. Yes. To share. I have. I created one. See? Okay. That's, that's one of the questions, though, is if everybody is comfortable having all of their emails sent to everybody mm -hmm. in the committee. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that I will... have a special email just for this committee. Okay. Everybody can provide this to your board clerk and she can take care of it. That would be Samantha. Um, and also just per the emails, we just want to make sure that everybody is aware of the open meeting laws when communicating via email. And that per legal, we have to limit it to four members in order not to violate these meeting laws, mm -hmm. yeah. just so everybody is aware. And so my question was, did legal say I was not held to not contacting more? I thought that Zach, I could call Zach when he was here. I don't quite understand that. Right. That, it, that since I am just a liaison, I am not a committee mm -hmm. member that I could email out all of you. I thought Cheryl, Cheryl, you, and she said she thought it was a violation of open meeting law. Yeah. And I told her that I was under the impression last meeting that Zach said I was not included in that because I was not a committee member. So I, I'll call Zach. Call Zach because that. I, I think would, that's his question. I would think that- To get yeah. clarity. Even though you're only a liaison, it may create. Okay, I, I thought that he 
sig signal singled me out as not having, which is fine. I just want to know. Well, I think that we really get clarification on what your role is coming back to council. My role is to share what you guys and, are doing. And but if there's more to it, that may be tough. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Just saying, it says it's okay, but I just yeah. open meeting stuff is so. Yeah, I'll, I'll call okay. some. So just so, for clarification, if we want to send out an email to other members of the group, it can only be three others. That's true. If we really wanted to go to the whole group, uh, who do we send it, it needs to? to go through your first. clerk. Yeah. Yes. Needs to go Sam. And any message to another member needs to go. If it's more yeah. than. Four. If you want four to members total, so uh, yourself and three people. Send to three. Yeah. Otherwise, but otherwise you can send it to Samantha, Sam, and she can send it to everybody, and will not be violating those open meeting laws. Can you so, provide Samantha's email, please? She is the one that sent the email to all of you for the agenda. Yeah. I don't think um, I received. <laughs> I received the last, I received something from Melissa Ward, like on October 11th, mm -hmm. but when okay. was that, we, when was that email sent? Uh, Thursday, Sam sent everybody um, a link that said, here's the agenda minutes. I or... email you too, so you have my email. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't believe I received that, and I'd like to give you my, before sending me any more emails, I'd like to give you my email for this committee so that they don't go to my private email. Okay. So what's your, can I give it to you by call? Can I just call you and give you my email? I believe I have it from Melissa, but I can touch base with you after. Well, you don't have my new email address. I just made it yesterday. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to send it to the clerk email? We can update it that way, or you can call the city. Just call the city, not you. She's the one that'll answer the phone. Yeah, they can't write to me. <laughs> okay. If you, if you call the city and ask to talk to Sam, we'll send it to her. Okay, got it. Thank um, you. And then for just on the city side of stuff for roundtable items. If you're either not going to be here, if you're going to be late, or you want to be in the Zoom, when we send out the agenda, when Sam sends out the agenda on Thursday, can you please RSVP mm -hmm. and say, I will be in attendance. I won't be in attendance. I need to attend via Zoom, anything like that. It's super helpful for us and all of our scheduling, um, just to know ahead of time, even if you know, you're know you like, I'm gonna be there, but I have something that ends right at 12.30, so I'm gonna be a few minutes late. That's just super helpful for us because then um, before both of you guys got here, we were like, there's no one here. We don't even have no forum, a, a right. quorum. So we were gonna adjourn. Wayne said, let's wait a few minutes because we didn't know that you guys were going to be late. And I never did see an invite where you reply yes or no, like mm -hmm. like other okay. meeting. Well, it's an out of the meeting notice. Right. Meeting notice. I don't re I don't believe I received the meeting notice either. <laughs> it's well, it's it's not necessarily a meeting notice. It's not. saying, hey, yeah. here's the agenda. Right. I don't believe I received that. I'll, and I'll we'll check. Be... I'll check okay. again, but I don't think I received it. Would you you would just like us to automatically respond? Just say yeah. Just I'll be got in attendance. It. Got it. No, if it works better for you guys for it to be sent out as a meeting, I guess we can do that. Right. In the and it doesn't matter. I just know when. when That's staff... what we were getting with planning zoning was a meeting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. when staff it's usually easy. makes a meeting, we can maybe... make a note of that. I think that send the thing out. We just send it out as a meeting okay. in the future for everybody, and then just so make RSVP easier. in yeah. one form or another, and that. So that works for you guys, that works for us. Um, and then also, this was kind of an exception having all of the paper. We're not going to print anything at any future meeting. If you want something printed, the agenda, anything like that, you're going to need to print it on your own. That's why I was hoping we had emails to send this is why I asked for everybody's email. I totally no. get that. Um, sending out 
and something like that, I think you could send to everybody, and that's not. Well, that's what I was. Well, that's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah that I think is okay. If you're sending um, out something that has to do with the business that we're talking about, she's just, all you were trying to do is solicit. I just want to people. say yeah. But then if somebody responds to they all of you, all, then you're breaking just, the law. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's where it's kind yeah. of. Uh, we will find out. Uh, yeah. But so Pam, like if you were to blind CC everybody where they can't really reply all, it would right. be replying just to you. Right. Mm. Then that would make the change. But I definitely think it's a talk for you to have with legal about yeah, that. Yeah, I will. So, is, so nice. is there any other round table yeah. question? Yeah, I have um, our meeting in December. I'm a four thinking person. <laughs> our meeting in December is on Christmas Eve. So I think we need to talk about that. Okay. Next, Next meeting, yeah. definitely talk about rescheduling it. Yep. Or getting presents from everybody. Like, <laughs> no, we'll be here. I think we will not be here. That's my birthday. We can all give me birthday. <laughs> we need to get a stamp. I've got all kinds of people having birthdays. And Pam, that did you want to request at this time that everybody maybe, or if whoever wants to share their goals, is that no. so that it can be on the agenda? Oh. For next, I, 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 I'm old it would just be old. Yeah. It would just be on the uh, committee round table at the next meeting. Okay. So at the round table, people could share what the goal is if okay. they, if they have one in one. Do I, it's just a curiosity for me. What the purpose of you being on here, what is your goal so that we might have focus to work. Do you have a special goal that I can what? present? Do you? I bet you do that I could present to the council then. Would be a good real thing. quick before we adjourn. Uh, I attended on uh, video conferencing six hour meeting on livable communities hmm. 80 8 dash or 880 uh, designing communities for people from age of eight to 80. Everything in between, very, very interesting, and very a lot on sustainability. There is eighty million dollars in grant money available for cities, communities, and everybody else. That only comes in small little chunks. And I was going to talk to planning and zoning more about it being there, but uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely. Very, very interesting. Go online. The uh, person that started it uh, has got all videos and he puts on classes constantly. And once this, this was on arts program, and once that becomes available, um, I'll share that with everybody because it's more than interesting. I guess it's a good way to put it. I mean, yeah. Sam, Sam Point's got a long way to go seen something about that. I think PBS had a little they did they yeah. a little blurb about it. Yeah, because it started out with PBS on that. And didn't that last of 274 say something about getting money for is that 274? Sorry. I thought I, I saw that. Um, no. Gotta go. I think it does say it said something about make requests make requests for studies. funding yeah. for sustainability. So that's awesome. Those ideas would be great. Can um, can I just, just to confirm our next meeting is on November 26th? Fourth Tuesday should be. Yes. Yep. Tuesday. November 26th. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And it, it's from 1230 to 2. Yes. Thank you. Same conference. Yep. Oh, all right, Wayne. With no further business, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. I'm sorry, it's it's not a motion. It's not a motion. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're just. I motion to adjourn. Yeah. I adjourn. We have adjourned. Yeah. Two o'clock. Yes. No, I want to stay.